What got me into guns is when I got married. I started feeling that sense of I need to, you know, be the protector of the family. And even more so when I had kids, that's what made me realize like, okay, I need to, I've always had that urge and desire to own firearms. I just never made a point to go and get one. So I went down to um, one of the local gun ranges here, and I rented a little 22 pistol, and I, the RSO showed me how to load it and how to shoot it, and I, I shot a couple hundred rounds of 22, and I was like a kid on Christmas morning. I mean, it was just, it was just cool. I loved it, and I went home and told my wife, and uh, and she laughed at me, but I told her I'm like, this is it. She's like, what's it? I'm like, this is it. I love it. I, it was just, it was just. I think the people in life that find their passion, when you find that passion, it's like, it just clicks and you just know it. And that's exactly how it was from the first time I shot. I said to my wife, I don't know how, but I'm gonna find a way to do this for a living. And that's what I've slowly been working at over the past 10 years or so. So physical fitness in concealed carry, I think goes hand in hand. A lot of people underestimate the skills necessary to defend themselves in a dangerous situation. If you think that gunfights are just gunfights and they're not hand-to-hand -hand battles, then you're mistaken. If you're not physically fit, it's just a big disadvantage for you. The three most important things in my life, without a doubt, the first is gonna be my faith. I know how much God has blessed me and, and I truly thank him for it every single day. And I know how precious life is and how important that is. And uh, without God's love and his blessing, I just, I wouldn't be where I am today. Uh, second, no question is my family. Uh, my kids and my wife are the world to me. Uh, you know, they're very, very close second. You know, I debated putting them first or second actually. Um, but they're the world. You know, one of the reasons my family is so important to me is I lost my mom when I was very young. I was 12 years old when my mom passed away. So I think it just made me appreciate life and what I have so much. And every single day with them, I just really try to be the best dad I can. Try to teach them as much as I can with the time I have with them and just, just prepare them for the world. Third's a very, very tough decision because there's a lot of different things I would say, you know, my friends are very, very important to me, but I'm gonna say firearms um, is the third most important thing to me. It's just such a big part of my life. I work in the firearms industry, so all day I eat, breathe, and sleep firearms, and then, you know, my, my passion in life is, is firearms and the Second Amendment and protecting this great country with the rights that we have, and, um, you know, the first time I shot a gun, I smiled and giggled, and I probably shot 20,000 times and guess what I still smile and giggle on the inside when I shoot a gun I just I just love it I think it's fun so not only the protection aspect of it but it's truly truly something I enjoy and I think uh, losing that right of, of firearms and self-defense and protection would be an absolute travesty and a shame if we ever lost that right What's going on boys and girls, Tiberius here. On this channel, I do all sorts of gear and gun review. Pretty much anything related to a firearm, I wanna take a look and review it. Uh, I pretty much eat, sleep, and live firearms. I work in the firearms industry. When I'm not at work, I spend a lot of my time either reviewing guns, testing guns, going to the range. Um, I'd say I'm obsessed with guns on an unhealthy level. 